Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and today we are back with my friend Doug here at Superformance, and we're gonna shoot something that we have not even begun to touch on yet, which is this Caterham. So give me, and everybody else here that doesn't know what Caterham is, give us the history. I'll tell you, this is pretty cool. So this started out with Lotus. Everybody's heard of Lotus back in 1957 as the Lotus Super 7. Cool little sports car, small, for driving on those English country roads, right. right? And zipping around. Right. And then turned into a nice little race car. These cars were very popular in England and then became popular across the world. But what they were really famous for was Colin Chapman always says, just add lightness. And that's what these cars were all about, being super light, reducing weight, makes everything better. Stopping, right. turning, accelerating. It just improves everything about the car. What's the weight on this one? 1,250 pounds. And the horsepower? 310. Total like oversized, so think of a big horsepower go kart. Pound Cobra Mark III R that right. you dream about when you go to sleep every night. I do. With 510 horsepower. Right. So this weighs half that. So think of your Cobra with 1,020 horsepower. Right. That's this. Yeah. Everything else you guys do is stuff that you guys make with licenses from other companies, yeah. Shelby and what have you. The Caterham, no, you don't no. produce these. Caterham Cars in UK, they bought all the rights, tooling everything from Lotus to produce the car. So it's Got a it. continuation of the Lotus 7 and it's the Caterham Super 7. Got it. And this one has a sequential six, right? Six speed sequential. So it's gonna be a little bit like driving the vicious Mustang. Right. Now what is the motor in here? It's a Ford two liter Duratec very easily serviceable engine, mm -hmm. but then they throw the little supercharger on it and 310 horsepower instead of 210. There was an old episode of Top Gear where we actually gave them a 620R and it beat a Bugatti Veyron to 60 and beat really? a Viper GTS around the road course. Really? Yeah, it's a serious car. And what's the price range of this? The 270 model, which is 135 horse with a 1.6 liter uh, ZTEC motor, uh -huh. will go for around 55, 57,000, okay. all done. This car as it sits would be brand new, uh, just north of 110,000. So it's not a cheap car. Definitely. But yeah. you're looking at dry sump, 310 horsepower and faster than a Veyron. And like the carbon fiber stuff is real carbon fiber. There's no fake carbon on this car. Mm -hmm. They're all about making them light. Yeah. Again, when paint's an option, you know they're trying to that's save weight. That's pretty funny that that's an option. Yeah. So golf colors, which I love. It's similar. The blue's Ish. a little different. This is, they do golf blue. They offer golf blue as a color, but this is Riviera blue. It's a little deeper than the golf blue, the light okay. blue. In fact, in the background, we've got a proper golf blue. Right. So you can yeah, see yeah. the orange is a little deeper. So it's yeah. a little more vibrant color scheme, For which sure. is really good in a car this small. You want to be seen. Yeah, I'd imagine this thing's going to be real easy to not be seen on the road other than, this, you know, yeah. you got this bright color, but it's Whenever it's I'm low. cruising on the freeway, I'm so tempted, you know, when I get next to like a big 18 wheeler Go under to do him. the James Bond ah. thing. <laughs> <laughs> you could do that in this. You could. Brakes, you've got four piston front, two piston back. It's really more than you need. Yeah. The brakes on this car are incredible. I mean, again, the lightness, you just don't need that much. This is a track monster. Oh, I'll bet it, I would monster. imagine it is, yeah. What's the, what size are the wheels? 13s. <laughs> <laughs> and then what do we have going for suspension here? The, oh, you've got proper, really... fully adjustable coilovers. Yeah. And um, on, on the 620R, one of the differences is even the wishbones on the suspension are foil shaped. So it's all airfoil shaped stuff here, mm -hmm. down below. Um, just really cool, proper race car stuff. Really looks like it, yeah. That's where you see some of Caterham's F1 technology coming into play with this car. Everything other than that gigantic collector, everything's so teeny on it, you know, the wheels, the yeah. seats. I already sat in this car, you guys. This is gonna be comical to watch Doug and I sit in this together. We're gonna to be real cozy today, I mean, today, dude, buddy. it is so <laughs> tight. When I put my foot, one on the clutch, one on the brake, they're actually overlapping. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna have to take my- I don't think those are gonna work. No, I'm taking my shoes off today yeah. to drive this car. There's, there's no question. All right, let's keep walking around this guy. Yeah. What's this covering up here? This is, is this the a trunk. little- So, actually, in here, we have the doors. Come on! Yeah. The side doors just drop in the little hinges where you see the wind wings. You take those out, drop it in, and then it snaps to the inside. 
and then carbon Kevlar seats. That's why the carbon looks different than the carbon on the dash. Yeah. Is because it's the carbon Kevlar. So, I mean, they like go all out for this. Yeah. And it's smart that it's harnessed. I mean, I get that it's a track purposed car, but it is a street legal one. But mm -hmm. you're like, you're exposed here, Matt. I mean, you are oh, yeah. seriously exposed. Good thing you got a cage that goes above your head, right? So God forbid, I mean, I'd, I'd imagine it'd be pretty impossible to roll this thing, but. If it does, you definitely want, want to have this mm -hmm. and it's super strong. Yeah. But I mean, even like the wheel is teeny, dude. What is that? Like a, a, a eight inch wheel it's or like something? Not, not much bigger than like an Xbox controller. I mean, like my hand will cover almost that entire wheel. I know. It's crazy. Yeah, look at that. There's really nothing like it. It's something you have to experience. Yeah. And it's impossible to drive this without a big smile on your face. Yeah, I'd imagine. Cool. Well, now would be the appropriate time for your line. I think it's time to stop looking and get cooking. What do you guys think? All right, you guys, before we go for a drive, we've got merch. We've got some cool black shirts with orange logo. We got the gray shirts with a black logo. We finally have women's tanks. Personally, my favorite item, we've got keychains. Now, let's go for a drive. much as I love the Cobra, I, I can't even believe I'm admitting to this, but this is so much fun. Yeah. I'm tucking these though, man. That thing's whacking <laughs> me know, in the it's face. It's like killing me. I swear it reminds me of my last three girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, on a tight road, this yeah. is the... Yeah. Dude, I'm not 
not even touching the brake right now. I'm going straight in on it. It's not even squealing the tires. I mean, I'm not even pushing it. Not even close. It's like it's nuts. Like without nothing. any effort at That's all. That's the lightweight. All right, you guys. Well, that's it for our ride in this incredibly cool oversized go-kart. That's what the Caterham is. This is an oversized go-kart. I mean, think about it. 1,250 pounds, 310 horsepower, a sequential six-speed gearbox, that low to the ground. I mean, what a blast. And I gotta admit, I've seen these before. Nothing about this car ever made me want one until I got in the driver's seat and just spent a few minutes driving it and ripping it around. And all I wanna do is go straight to the canyon or straight to the track with this thing and just go let her rip. What a blast. Once again, a massive thanks to our friends, Doug, Lance, and all the guys here at Superformance. I just love that they continue to let us come down here, shoot cars, take them out for drives, and really get a sense of, of what it is to carry forth the history that they continue to move forward. Absolutely incredible, badass. So as always, you guys, thanks for hanging and watching and supporting what we do here. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next episode. Later, man.